collect some Kamani nuts in. Tamara from Maui Nui Botanical Gardens is going to show us how to make a whistle from the Kamani nut called an oi oi. Aloha, I'm Tamara and I'm the director here at Maui Nui Botanical Gardens. I'm going to show you how to make an oi oi from scratch. Now, when you come to the botanical gardens to pick up your oi oi kit, your Kamani nut whistle kit, it'll look like this and it'll already be partly done. But just in case you want to make another one, I'm going to show you from the very beginning. So, this is the Kamani nut that you saw, and it still has the fruit attached on the outside. So we've got to scrape that fruit off so that it's nice and smooth like this before we can get to the next part. So you can do that in the old Hawaiian way with maybe um, a shell. You might try just something like a butter knife or a spoon. And you can use a little bit of sandpaper as well, which is in your kit. So you can use sandpaper on it to get it nice and smooth as well. Once you are done with that, the next step is to drill. So your mom or your dad can do this for you. You want to just make sure that it doesn't have any little holes already. You're going to hold it with your channel locks or some kind of a pliers. And you do need to do a little bit of a pilot hole. I'm using a Dremel tool here. You might be able to do it with just a small nail. And you only need to do a small hole. And I like to do two holes. Sometimes these are made with one hole, sometimes with three holes. The way we do them here is with two. And if you go online and you Google oi oi, you can see that there's a Bishop Museum one made with a coconut. And that was also one of the traditional ways that these were made and they're really deep sounding. So once you've got a little pilot hole drilled, you're gonna drill your holes. And again, this is your mom or your dad doing this for you. Whoop. And you've got your final product is two holes and it's got a nut inside. So this is how you're gonna get your kit. You're gonna get it already peeled and drilled for you. So once you have a nut that's cleaned and it has the holes, which is how you're gonna get it in your kit, you're gonna have your pick. You can use a nail or a small piece of um, wire, anything that has a pokey end and is strong. And this part is gonna take probably about a half an hour. So be patient, don't cry, and don't use so much force because if you crack it, if you, if you crank on it too much to get the insides out, sometimes this bridge right here tends to crack a little bit. So what you're doing is you're just poking and you're breaking up all the nut meat that's inside and you're gonna scrape the sides and then you're going to actually tap it and you're gonna get the pieces out. So eventually you are going to end up with something that starts to sound hollow. And when you shake it, you don't hear any pieces left. If you still hear pieces, you kind of gotta take it like this and look into it and get those last little bits out. Now, in your kit, you're gonna have a string that's like this. That's just a regular string. You can use any thin string, but we've also given you the materials to make your own authentic cord or kaula from how, and that's even a little bit easier to use. It's stronger and it'll be a real Hawaiian toy. So this is how you make the cord called ilihau because it's the inner bark of the how tree and it's been fermented and then rinsed out and it's really nice. It's like raffia. So, to make this cord, you are gonna to wanna to take your piece and get the longest piece you can find and fold it in half like this. So you're gonna pinch it at the top and you're gonna have it in half. Once you have it like that, um, I'm gonna actually wet mine because it's actually a little easier to do if you get it wet first. So you have it in half like this. You can use the upper part of your leg, bottom part of your leg or your foot. And you're going to lay it on your leg like so. So you wanna have the two pieces separate. You wanna hold it in the hand that's not gonna be doing the rolling. And you wanna put a little bit of a twist in it. You wanna make sure that the, twist, the two pieces are twisted the same way. I'm twisting them away from me because I'm gonna roll it away from me. So then I'm gonna put it on my leg like this. 
and I'm gonna keep these two pieces separate. Start with my fingertips and I'm just gonna push and roll. And as I go like this, I'm putting a lot of tension on those two pieces. They stay separate and then I let go and look, I've got a cord starting and I'm just gonna twist it a little bit. Then I'm gonna move down. You only work a couple inches at a time. You don't wanna try to do a whole bunch like this. You wanna just do a couple inches at a time. You wanna roll it, hold it, let go, and then twist. I'm gonna keep going. Just make sure those two pieces are separate and that you're getting a really nice tight twist on there. When you get all the way to the end and you want it as long as possible, you are going to have a little loop at one end like this. That's where you folded it in half and you're gonna tie it at the other end and you can just tie it by doing an overhand knot like this. Just an inline knot. That's fine. You'll end up with a cord that has a knot at one end and a little loop at one end. So you just take the loop and you take your oi oi that you've hollowed out that has no, nothing rattling in it and you're gonna put it through like that. So now we've got it on the string. We're gonna open up that little loop. We're gonna put the part with the knot through the loop and just pull like that. So now you have a finished oi oi and we can demonstrate how it sounds.